they brought to the White House a draft executive order that they had prepared for President Trump to further his ends. Specifically, they proposed the immediate mass seizure of state election machines by the U.S. military. President Trump is a 76-year-old man. He is not an impressionable child. Just like everyone else in our country, he is responsible for his own actions and his own choices. Even members of President Trump's cabinet and his White House staff understood the significance of his losses in the courts and the absence of evidence of fraud. They also respected the constitutional certification by the Electoral College. Many of them told President Trump that it was time to concede the election to Mr. Biden. It was your view then, or was it your view, that the efforts to overturn the election should have stopped once the litigation was complete? In my view, um, upon the conclusion of litigation uh, was when I, I began to plan for life after the administration. And, and it was obviously a, a public proceeding or, or a series of proceedings that President Biden had obtained the requisite number of electors. Was that an important day for you? Did that affect sort of your, your planning or your realization as to whether or not there was going to be an end of, of this administration? I think so. I think it was my my sentiment probably prior as well. My personal viewpoint was that the Electoral College had met, uh, which is the uh, <clears throat> system that our uh, country is, is set under to elect a president and vice president. And I believed at that point that the um, means for him to pursue uh, litigation um, uh, was probably closed. And you recall what his response, if any, was? He disagreed. I put a call into the president. I might have called on the 13th. We spoke, I believe, on the 14th, in which um, I conveyed to him that I uh, thought that it was time for him to acknowledge that uh, President Biden had uh, prevailed in the election. That Mr. Cipollone, that the president should concede once you made a determination based on the investigations that you credited, DOJ did, and the campaign did. Did you, in your mind, form a belief that the president should concede the election loss uh, at a certain point after the election? Well, again, uh, I was the White House counsel. Some of those decisions are political. So to the extent that, but, but if your question is that I believe he should concede the election at a point in time, yes, I did. In the wee hours of December 19th, dissatisfied with his options, Donald Trump decided to call for a large and wild crowd on Wednesday, January 6th, the day when Congress would meet to certify the electoral votes. Never before in American history had a president called for a crowd to come contest the counting of electoral votes by Congress or engaged in any effort designed to influence, delay, or obstruct the joint session of Congress in doing its work required by our Constitution and the Electoral Count Act. As we'll see, Donald Trump's 1.42 a.m. tweet electrified and galvanized his supporters, especially the dangerous extremists and the Oath Keepers, the Proud Boys, and other racist and white nationalist groups spoiling for a fight against the government.